god! Oh god! Why? Hang in there! The screams coming from this soldier were only part of training going on in Suffield last week, but are as real of a reminder of what Canadians may face in Afghanistan as the machine guns going off in front of him. The mock injuries also show just how vital a role field medics play, both here on Canadian soil and on foreign fronts. Okay, so here's one of our ambulances. Corporal Alistair Moore was one of the many medics training alongside reserves like the South Alberta Light Horse. The paramedic from Calgary has been overseas with the Canadian military in Kosovo and understands the importance of the field training at CFB Suffield. What we're doing with the task force here is we're kind of simulating the Afghanistan scenario. So we're set up in a main camp, we're sending uh, ambulances out with units during the day to do missions and that. Um, a lot of our medics don't work as medics uh, on their civilian jobs. So coming here, working in a clinic, getting the feel for how that runs in the military focus is very important. The small team of medics and nurses cared for and trained beside hundreds of reserves from across Western Canada stationed at the field operations base in Suffield. The team who ran this field hospital say limited materials and space didn't seem to get in their way. We're readying for anything. Um, anything can happen in the field. We never know. It could be simple as a hangnail or it could be a vehicle rollover. Um, we're prepped for anything to happen to come to our station so we can stabilize and send on to a further facility or hospital. We're prepared to see critical patients here, but usually, you know, guys are spraining ankles, tripping in gopher holes, that kind of thing as they're running along. Um, doing their kind of training. Like soldiers taking part in rifle range training, these medics were placed in a situation last week where they were asked to work beside troops they have never met before and most jumped at the opportunity. We have everybody from Thunder Bay to Victoria. So we're working with a whole bunch of different um, med techs, nursing officers, other um, health care administration officers. And this gives us a, a chance to get together from different units and work together. Not all of the medics and nurses here, like Alistair, have seen overseas operations, but most are eager to do one of the most demanding jobs a Canadian can have in Afghanistan. I don't know where we're actually going to be, where Canada's going to be, but I hopefully it's my plan is to prepare myself for that. I'm hoping to um, go overseas as a critical care nurse over there and hopefully in the next year. Why do you want to do that? Um, for our men. Our soldiers are out there to make um, Afghanistan hopefully a better place for its people and I want to be there as med support for those guys that are risking their lives. Training taking place on the base just north of Medicine Hat was about as real as it gets for the 500 reserves here on the ground and although all they ended up dealing with were some minor cuts and scrapes, these medics know all too well that they were training for something that could end up being far more critical a reality that only serves to underscore just how essential Canadian military medics really are. Scott Cunningham, Canadian Forces Base, Suffield.